And I'm Jet Jackson. Welcome to my studio. Even as a child, you have a strong interest in art because it's natural that kids watch cartoons. Um, most of us have crayons. Like everybody used to draw. And it's funny how at a certain, certain point, people stop drawing. Either they decide they aren't good at it or they move on to other things. And I was just one of those people who never put down the crayons. Cartoons for me were just so pivotal. I love them so much. And still do to this day, there's so much possibility for surrealism and invention in a cartoon. Things that don't happen in real life can be drawn and happen. And uh, also, when you're younger, almost anybody can cartoon. You don't have to do a photorealistic face. You can do um, an exaggerated version or a crude version. So um, I think still to this day, I'm sort of in between that early crude cartoony stage and the polished realism. So it's cartoony realism together and somewhere in the middle I meet. I've had very little art training, um, never really any formal classes, so I'm basically self-taught and just by practice. I love making art about art because um, one of the biggest things for me is to have some variety in my styles. There's, you see a lot of great art out there and I want to try that on sometimes, like different outfits, being able to experiment or do something different. Alice in Wonderland has just been a thing for many years for me. And I really enjoyed the books and the, the movies, there's been a lot of them. And as a character in a painting, um, to have one that I can keep going back to and finding more to more adventures, more sequels, that I really don't feel I've exhausted all the possibilities yet. Sense of humor is one of the highest art forms itself. A lot of people think of it as lightweight. Um, but no, you can say so many great truths with humor that you couldn't say seriously or somebody would slug you. But if you can do it sarcastically, you can get away with um, corny melodramatic humor. And you can really say a lot of truth with it. And um, also then I don't feel so silly if I want to say like something about love or whatever that might be kind of embarrassing. If I do it with kind of a <laughs> it makes it um, easier for me to get away with and for to, to do without being so embarrassed. Love humor, it's everything. You know, I really kind of miss the days sometimes when painting was a hobby. That, you know, you come home from work and you relax and pull out the paints and it's all just about pure joy of painting. Half the days are really exciting and I like what I'm doing and it's coming out like butter, it's easy. And then other days it's just hard work and a slog or I have to wipe out the whole day's previous work. It's just not working to change all the colors. And so it's not all happy go lucky when you're painting. It, it takes a lot out of you. Being in downtown LA, there are uh, paintings of city scenes, urban uh, situations from living in downtown LA. I like to have uh, cartoony background situations of buildings with the bridges and the street lights and things like that. I've lived in a lot of different lofts um, downtown uh, LA and I've left uh, for a while. I went to Switzerland for a year and came back and uh, tried to move away a few times but I ended up gravitating back here because it's just such a home base, solid community of, of fellow artists and friends and the place I'm in now, the Santa Fe Art Colony, has the uh, uh, an appeal because it's sort of a compound and a gated community. As far as the rewarding parts of being an artist, um, probably um, the most satisfying thing is for me the genesis of an idea, how I start a painting is that I'll have a portion of the idea, maybe not the whole whole scheme in mind, but something that excites me enough about it. And halfway through then I had a problem solve and figure out, well, okay, I've got this much now, how can I make it better? and I'll make lists of ideas and just try and do stream of consciousness and then when I finally think of the great one that solves the problem and makes the piece even better, that's very rewarding. Um, of Oh, I had a great idea and then I can execute it. And um, it's a big part of my search always to keep making it better and better and better. Mm -hmm.